It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Zach, and his favorite person is the doctor. Our second player is Mike, and his favorite place is right here. And our third player is Aaron, and his favorite thing is his cityscape paintings. And now she was recently let go from her Right Said Fred cover band for being too sexy. It's our host, Melissa Peterman. Oh, Jamie, I'm too sexy for that intro. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the only show where the players ask the questions. And if they ask me the right ones, they are going to go home with cash and prize. Prizes. And playing with me today, I have three phenomenal contestants who are here to battle it out for their shot to take home our grand prize, $5,000. Go. And back for his fourth consecutive day, it's our returning champion, Zach, who's already won over $10,000 in cash and prizes and is hoping to make it back to that final round to add another $5,000 to his winnings. But Aaron and Mike are looking to start a winning streak of their own. Let's get started. Okay, in round one, we are going to play each category, a person, a place, and a thing. You can ask me yes or no questions, and I will be giving you some clues. Let's get started. Well, hey, Zach. Hey, Melissa. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Day four, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? You look like a guy who's got $10,000. I feel like that. You feel like that. <laughs> uh, so how has your family reacted and your Dungeons and Dragons, your, all your guys? Everyone's very surprised. They're surprised. It's almost insulting. <laughs> that you should be insulted because you are a really great player. You know a lot of things. Um, I have to ask though, so your favorite your favorite person is the doctor. Yes, not the not the medical doctor. Oh, okay. The uh, the time traveling alien from Gallifrey. Doctor Who. Yes. Got it. Got it. This is on brand for you, Zach. I now I've got it. I know where I I know who I am. I keep it. I know who you are too. I'm getting to know you better and better every day. Well, let's get started. In our first round, we're going to start off with the category our person. Category. Category, and I'm going to let you all know that this person is an entertainer, okay? An entertainer. Does this person present as male? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello, Aaron. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Thank you. Uh, so you, you, you are, are your painter. One of your favorite things is your city. I'm an artist. You're an artist. Okay. Yeah. So you draw city landscapes. I could do that all day long. You yeah. can. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite city you've ever done? Or I just random tall building kind of thing, I skylines. I just randomly come up with them. Yeah, you're an artist. You can't, no one can put you in a box. You can right. just do whatever you want to do. Exactly. Well, I'm glad yeah. that you're here. Thank you. Uh, well, we're talking about an entertainer right now, and we know that this entertainer presents as male, okay? Is this entertainer still alive? Yes, still alive, okay? Well, hello. How are hello. you, Mike? Yeah. So is, is it your favorite place? It's, it's right here? Right here, right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm so flattered. Is it just Podium 3 right here, right That's now? That's it. That's the one. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> Can we just say he won? I'm kidding. I can't say that. I can't say I'll that. I'll take it. Uh, well, I'm so glad you're here, and I hope that this becomes a favorite place for you. I'm, I'm glad it is. And we're talking about an entertainer right now. We know male still alive. Okay. Is he known for dancing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Time for your first clue. Get your buzzers out. Remember, if you buzz in and you get it right, you got 100 points. If you're wrong, you are out, but just until I give another clue. He was the first openly gay man to host the Oscars. Mike. Is this Neil Patrick Harris? NPH, it sure is. Great job, Mike. 100 points to you. Well done. Well done. Okay, Aaron, you're going to start off our next category. This is our place category, and I'm going to give you all a hint. This place is a natural wonder. A natural hmm. wonder. Is this place a tourist attraction? Yes. I, I consider it a tourist attraction. Okay? okay? Right. Mike. Is this place in the United States of America? Yes. Mm-hmm. Zach. Is this natural wonder primarily made of stone? Yes. As am I. <laughs> Time for your first clue. Get your buzzers out. This place is a 3,000 foot vertical rock formation located in a national park. Zach. Is it Devil's Tower? It is not Devil's Tower, which means you're out until I give another clue. Aaron. Okay, so I'm picturing, I, I don't know the name of it, but with the faces on the, on the, on the mountain. The, the four faces, the president faces, is it that one? The, the um, 
the mountain uh, the president, and Dakota, the, I the think. The president faces place? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not the president. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not the president faces place. Um, oh, I love that place. The postcards are beautiful. Right. Um, I think I know what she means. So it's uh, it's not the president faces place. Whatever that okay. means to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, have you been to that President Faces place? I have not. I hear it's underwhelming. It's not. It's no. No, no. Good. No. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll go. Okay. Is that one of the prizes? Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, we, but you could ask me a question or guess. Is it El Capitan? Mike! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Let's my go. goodness. Oh. Two right out of the gate, 100 points. And Aaron, just FYI, the president place face, or the president face place, Mount Rushmore. That's it. Mount yep. Rushmore. <laughs> That's um, but the uh, word. you know what? It was originally, they workshopped it, and it was supposed to be called the president face place. <laughs> <laughs> it did not do good in focus groups, so it went to Mount Rushmore, okay? Um, Mike, you are on a roll, and you are going to start off our last category of this round, and this is our thing category. And I can tell you that this thing is a drink. This thing is a drink. Mm, it's a drink. Mm. Is this drink an alcoholic beverage? No. All right. Zach. I could have used one. I know, uh, I know. <laughs> uh, is this drink served hot? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Aaron. Is this drink uh, milk? No. Oh. Not milk. Okay. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. Orange is one of its most popular flavors. Zach. Is it Fanta? It is Fanta! Orange fizzy stuff! We love Fanta! <laughs> Great first round, everybody. Mike is in the lead with 200 points. Zach right behind at 100. Aaron is not on the board yet, but we got more game to come. There's great questions, even greater clues when person, place, or thing comes back. more about our show and meet today's super fan use your smartphone to scan the qr code in the corner of your screen and you will not only meet today's super fan amanda but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content welcome back to person place or thing her face absolutely belongs on the game show host's face place it's melissa peterman <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Someday, someday. Welcome back. We have a great game here. Mike is in the lead with 200 points. Zach right behind at 100. Aaron not on the board yet, but there's lots of game left to play. Let's start off round two. We play round two the same as our first round, except we're going to double the points, and you get to pick the category that we're playing. Aaron, since you're behind, I'm going to let you start. What would you like to play, Aaron? Person, place, or thing? Those thingy things. Those thingy things, those things, you know, the things. Um, well, Aaron, this thing is an activity. Oh an boy. activity. Is it a sport? I'd, I wouldn't say it's a sport, no. no. Okay. Mike. Can you do this activity while sitting down? No, you can't. But that should be a sport, because I would win. <laughs> Zach. Um, do you usually do this activity outside? Yes, you do. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. Remember, in round <clears throat> two, a right answer gets you 200 points. Many people get a safety certification before doing this. Mike. Is the activity CPR? OK. No, but are you certified? Yes. Good to know. All right. You are out until we give another clue. Aaron. Is this activity more related to like the medical field or something of that nature? It does it have something to do with the medical field? Something medical related. Something medical related. No, not no. medical related. Okay. Mm. I do have to skip you. Zach. Is it scuba diving? <laughs> it is scuba diving. Way to go, Zach. Well go. played. This is He's what he champ. does. This is He's what he champ. does. My dad used to be a dive instructor, so I would have gotten really in trouble. You would have. <laughs> you would have gotten in big, big trouble. Wow. Well, well done. 200 points to you, and you just took the lead. Okay, Mike, your turn to pick the category. What would you like to play, person, place, or thing? I'm going to go with place. Place. Well, you're going to love this hint I have for you. This place, it's on the map. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, it helps wow. you out. Is it still your yeah. favorite place uh -huh. now? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's on the map. On the okay. map. Is this place normally blue on a map? No, not normally blue on a map. Zach. Is this place naturally formed? No. No. Okay. Aaron. So it's on a map. It's on a map. Is this place a country or a continent on Which the map? Which one, country or continent? Continent. No, it is not. It's not a continent. Time for a clue. <laughs> Buzzer's out. There are over 20,000 restaurants in this NYC borough. Zach. Queens? It is not Queens, which means you are out until I give another clue. Back to you, Mike. Is it Manhattan? <laughs> it <laughs> is Manhattan! Take it home, baby, let's go. <laughs> yes, 200 points, well done, well done. Okay, Zach, last but not least, you get to pick out the category you wanna play. What do you wanna play? Uh, I'm gonna go with Thing. Thing, okay, we like things. This thing is food, food. Okay, is this food grown? No, not grown. Aaron. Is this, does this food have different colors naturally? No, it does not have different colors naturally. Okay. Mike. Is this food considered healthy? Yeah, I, I'd say it's pretty healthy. Pretty healthy? Pretty, yeah, it would be considered healthy. Okay. Yeah. Your mom wouldn't yell at you for eating it, probably. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. That's my Time my for a clue. Get your buzzers out. It is a bread product with a pocket. Zach? Is it a pita? It is a pita. Well done. 200 points to you. Fantastic round, everybody. Our returning champ is in the lead with 500 points. Mike right behind at 400. Aaron not on the board yet, but that could all change because up next, we're going to speed things up and see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. I'd like some curry and a pita bread. Welcome back to Ask a Question, Guess the Answer, where they have points and she has thingy things. Yeah, what he said. We have a great game here. Zach is in the lead with 500 points and Mike right behind at 400. Aaron is not on the board yet, but Aaron, I promise you, that could all change in this next round. It is time for our speed round, so get your buzzers ready. I'm gonna be reading you a series of clues about a person, place, or thing. When you think you know it, buzz in. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you are out, but just until the next category. Okay, there's a lot of points up for grabs here, so it is still anybody's game. Are you ready? Let's We're do ready, it. let's okay. do it. Hey, Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock, please. For the record, my mom would absolutely yell at me for eating pita, but she voted for Brexit, so yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, players, good luck to you all. Time starts now. This magazine has been published weekly since 1974. Mia Farrow appeared on the cover of its first issue. Each year it names a sexiest man alive. Zach. Uh, people? Yes, this person has frequently worked with Adam Carolla. He's a radio and TV host who has a degree in medicine. This addiction specialist starred in the rea Zach. Dr. Drew? Yes. Yeah. This is an old west town in the American Southwest. It's the name and setting of a 1993 western starring Kurt Russell. Wyatt Earp's famed gunfight at the OK Corral occurred here. This Arizona town shares its name with a stone marker found in graveyards. Anyone? Time's up. Tombstone. This person was a member of the rock supergroup, The Traveling Wilburys. He was the lead guitarist for a legendary British band. His song, Something, was covered by Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley. My Sweet Lord made him the first Beatle to score a number one hit as a solo artist. Uh, Aaron. Uh, uh, Paul McCartney? No. Anyone else? Uh, Zach? John Lennon? No. Mike? Ringo Starr. No! What's George Harris? <laughs> <laughs> How about a 100,000 homing pigeons were used during this to help save lives? It was sparked by the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Zach. Uh, World War II? No. Britain developed the modern tank vehicle during this. This event lasted from 1914 to 1918. World Mike. War I? Yes. Oh! <laughs> we named every beetle. <laughs> I 
We didn't get to George Harrison. That was a great round. Mike, I thought you might have had it, but guess what, Zach? You got enough to win. You are moving on to play our final round. Aaron, I love having you. I will never forget. President Face Place, we will always have that. <laughs> Mike, I loved having you too. We're not gonna send you home empty handed. So Jamie, tell them what they've won. My grandma's of New England, world's most critically acclaimed gourmet coffee cakes, including our original cinnamon walnut coffee cake made from the finest and freshest ingredients. As mentioned by the New York Times, People Magazine, and Oprah. Get a cake delivered to your door by visiting mygrandma.com. Ah, oh, that is very delicious coffee cake. Hope you guys enjoy that. And Zach. Congrats, you're moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Caesar Slots. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Caesar Slots, an amazing free slots game. Download now for an incredible welcome bonus. Stick around to see if Zach is gonna add another $5,000 to his winnings. We'll be back right after this. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. The Grand Palladium Costa Mujeres Resort and Spa, a registry collection hotel worth sprawling pools and world-class dining. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of person, place, or oh, thing. Oh, please play, please play. I am standing here with Zach, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Caesar Slots. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Caesar Slots, the legendary free slots game with hundreds of slots and exciting jackpots. It's Vegas in your hands. Scan the QR code to download Caesar Slots and spin the Caesar's way. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Zach, you, this is your fourth time yep. in the final round. Here's what you gotta do. You've got to correctly identify a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category that you want, ask me as many yes or no questions as you need to, and guess as many times as you'd like. And Zach, I've got you. I've got three <laughs> clues for you, and you know how important they are, so use them, use them wisely. You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing. You're gonna add $5,000 to your winnings Coming up to, fifth, oh my God, math, $15,000. <laughs> and we're gonna give our super fan $500. You ready? Yeah. Zach, your person is a band. Okay. Your place, a business. And thing, food. Where would you like to start? Let's start with thing. Okay, Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. Well, I can't wait to see what nonsense you're gonna buy with this money. <laughs> Good luck, Zach. Time starts now. Is this thing grown? No. Is it served hot? Can be. Um, a clue. These toastable treats typically come- Pop tarts. Yes. Person is a band. Uh, is it an American band? Yes. Uh, do they play a rock and roll? No. A uh, clue. This female country music trio dropped a word from their band oh. name in 2020. The Dixie Chicks. Mm -hmm. Places uh, of business. Clue. The logo of this kid's store features a reversed letter in quotation marks. Uh, Toys R Us. <laughs> I, think, I think that is, um, so you just earned, you earned $5,000 in 30 seconds. Half the time, congrats, you won another $5,000, bringing your total winnings in cash and prizes to over $15,000 and you get to come back once again as our returning champion for a chance to win another $5,000. And congratulations to you, Amanda in Sales Creek, Tennessee. You just won $500. Thank you for being our super fan. Okay, everybody, this person loves coming to this place and doing this thing. I hope you do too. See you next time. Woo! You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.